welcome back to my channel, Equivision Alley. I know I've been absent for a little bit of time. This is Rosie. Um, there's been a lot going on in my life. Uh, my mother broke her leg and I had to take care of her for a while. I moved barns again and I got engaged. So, but now I'm back. I'm getting back into the swing of things and hopefully I will be posting a little bit more regularly. Um, today I wanted to do a what's in my grooming bag. A few people have asked me because I do post a lot about grooming and um, they wanted to know what my like daily favorites were. So to start out, could not live without my noble uh, equestrian essentials tote. It has a mesh bottom so it means that if I put a, a dusty brush in or a hairy brush, it all kind of falls out through the bottom so it doesn't just collect. Um, and to me, that's really important because one of my horses is a complete mud monster. Um, and now he has a pasture that has a pond in it. And <laughs> there's lots and lots and lots of debris that will go into my bag just from grooming him. So to start out with my brushes, I have natural fiber brushes on the long side of my bag. Um, they're both a little dirty. I actually brought my grooming bag home to wash it and decided to do this video. So this is a winner's circle. I want to say it was marketed as their soft brush. Personally to me, it feels like a medium um, brush. I don't like using super, super hard brushes except like a mud brush on their legs. So I'm using this Winter Circle natural fiber brush on them as a medium brush. Uh, and then I also have this one, I believe this is a Tough One goat hair finishing brush. I just use this as my soft brush. Both my horses really like it and I do think that this also helps distribute product through their coat really, really well. Um, that's kind of why this one's a little dingier looking than this one. They've been in my bag the same amount of time. Um, I try to wash my brushes like every two weeks and um, this one has a lot more grime on it because I spray them down with stuff and brush it and so the dirt clings to this brush a little bit more. Um, and then another product that honestly this is like my diehard favorite product is the Tiger's Tongue sponge I guess is what you would call it um it's it's used for Rosie's going absolutely crazy hi sweetheart um it's used for getting sweat marks off getting dirt off like it's not just a sponge and honestly it doesn't hold water very well they say that you can use it to like sponge them down but I haven't really had much luck with that um but this is fantastic to use to get mud off of them especially going down their legs. It's like very flexible so you can bend it whatever way you need to. Um, and then this also helps keep my white horse white. So whatever this is made out of works really, really well on stains. Um, so that's what I use to try and keep Meadow somewhat more clean um, than your average white horse. <laughs> Lately, that's not been true at all, but it's because I've kind of given up for the moment because she was in an eternal heat. Um, and when she's in heat, she gets brownish red marks all over her whole back end. And keeping up with it is pretty much impossible. So this is also really helpful for getting those marks off once they dry, though, um, without any sort of water. So I would highly recommend a tiger's tongue, especially if you have a light colored horse. Um, I have your basic hoof pick with a brush. Um, this, I think, is a Dover one. I collect these because I do like the shape of the actual pick for getting into, like, the crevices. Um, and the brushes get frayed, so once the brush is all kind of, like, blown out at the end, I just throw it away and have a new one ready. Um, I have a basic hairbrush. I honestly don't even know where I got this from. It might have been laying around my house and I stole it for the horses. Um, it's just a normal hairbrush. There's nothing really special about horse branded hairbrushes. Um, so I just have a 
plane. I'm guessing it was a human one. Um, and you just, you have to be very careful going through their manes and their tails, regardless of what kind of brush you use. This one does have the, um, covered ends, the little, like, dots on the ends, which does help sometimes. It doesn't snag as much, but nothing really special to it. I do have, um, one of the grooming blocks, blades, like, it's not, like, your typical shedding blade. Um, this one is the Sleek Ease brand, which I personally wouldn't recommend. Um, my dealings with the company have been less than pleasant. Um, so I would definitely go for the other ones on the market, especially because their prices are a little more reasonable. Um, with the Sleek Ease, it's just a, a hacksaw blade in a chunk of wood, and other people have made them as well. Um, so take that information how you will and go with it how you want um i also have these grooming gloves these are not the hands-on brand these are actually ones from amazon that have the same dot texture on them and the same little nubbies on the fingers um these say magic fly and they were just called pet grooming gloves um they work exactly the same I really enjoyed them. I think these were $10. It, again, it's one of those things where you can choose to get the name brand or you can choose to get something else. And I think they all work the same. Um, to go on to the other side of my bag, I have, usually I have more curries than this. Um, I have toned down my collection because I had a ridiculous amount. It was actually overflowing my bag and I needed room for more spray bottles. So I had to kick out some curries. Um, this is a magic mud brush. Uh, it is starting to get worn down. You can't really see it, but I will have to replace this one soon. Um, these are really, really good, especially for mud on the legs. Um, if the mud is too caked on for like the tiger tongue, if it's more than just like a thin layer, this really really busts it up and gt really likes getting what i like to call mud dreadlocks where in the winter when his coat is extremely long uh he will go roll in mud and it will form these little circular tubules of mud that are almost impossible to get off and if you work long enough with one of these it eventually comes off and then you're also covered completely head to toe in mud dust, um, clay dust because I'm in Georgia, um, and everything's clay, but it works really, really well. Um, I also just have your basic curry, nothing really more to say to it other than it does its job. Uh, I have this heart-shaped curry, which is fantastic for removing excess hair off the coat. Um, it doesn't get all clogged up like the circular curry or like the mud brush. Um, and I also have this little like massage hand-shaped curry. I find this really good for when I'm like applying liniment and I really want to like go around the muscles in a certain shape. Um, again, none of them are like super duper special but they all kind of have their purpose in my bag so that's why i narrowed it down to those four uh and then my last like grooming tool is my sheepskin mitt i use this in conjunction with my goat hair finishing brush to apply products um typically i'll spray them on rub them into the coat with the goat hair finishing brush and then buff the coat with the sheepskin mitt um, one side is more dirty than the other because I am right-handed and it feels so weird to me to put this on my left hand and try and do the same thing. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm sure <laughs> I'm not the only one. So pretty much only the right side of this gets used. Moving on to my sprays, uh, what's essential in the realm of sprays, uh, it's a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different sprays in here. So to start with, I have my Healthy Hair Care Puff Moisturizer. Um, this 
can be used daily. I haven't really had to use it as much lately, especially with GT going into the pond as much as he does. Um, hooves can absorb moisture from the environment and he's doing a fantastic job as of right now for himself. Um, but this does have lanolin in it and it doesn't stain like some dressings. So I really do enjoy this one. Um, dust will stick to it. So don't use it like before you go into the show ring. But as a daily conditioner, it is a really good product because you do have to prepare for the show ring before the day of. Um, I also have the Do More Fly Spray. This is actually surprisingly good. I have been a fan of the Absorbing Bug Buster for a few years now and I just stock up on it every time I see it on sale. But this one actually is comparable and is half the price. I think it is $6.99 for this bottle. Um, and it works just as well. And it works for, I'd say, maybe a few hours. Most fly sprays, to me, don't seem to work past a few hours. So if I can spend $6.99 and it works a few hours, or I can spend $25 and it works a few hours for the absorbing, like, black, red, and blue bottles... I'm just gonna go for this. The Bug Buster is $12 and this is seven. So I'm gonna save money and just use this anyhow. I was actually very surprised by how well this worked. Uh, I have my Silverado Coat Gloss. This is what I use in their manes and their tails um, specifically. It's, it says that you can use it on the bodies, but I personally don't like it on the body. I do feel like it kind of can get a little grimy. Um, it's maybe just a little bit too thick for my horse's coat. It might be different on a different horse's coat. But in the manes and the tails, they absorb the moisture like crazy and it helps keep them really tangle free. Then I also have uh, Sunflower Sun Coat. This is actually about to come out of my grooming bag because we are coming into uh, fall or we are in fall. And so I don't really need a sunscreen anymore, but this was really important for me for Meadow to keep her from getting sunburnt. Um, and it also helps GT not bleach out as heavily since he is out 24 seven. And then we have my all time favorite, something I will never not have in my bag. This is my bottle of uh, Healthy Hair Care Hair Moisturizer, AKA the pink stuff. You gotta shake it up, but it's this little light pink. This bottle is, I would definitely recommend getting one if you get the pink stuff just because it does have little markers on it uh, so you can dilute it properly. Um, and you can dilute it more or less depending on the use that you decide. Um, I did used to have Sharpie on here that did wear off, but this one did say my body moisturizer, the small bottle that I have that's not in this grooming bag. I used to use on the manes and tails until I got the Silverado. So the uh, mane and tail one was a little bit stronger than the body one. And then last but not least, oh wait, I forgot a brush. I do have a little face brush in here. It was in the very bottom. Oops. This is just like a basic Dover one and I painted it myself, but whoops. But last but not least, I do have the Healthy Hair Care Citronella Spray and this has actually replaced my fly spray altogether. I do still like the Do More one for like before rides, but as a daily fly spray, this has replaced it because this is actually a fly spray and coat conditioner in one. So to me, it makes my job a little easier instead of buffing things into their coats multiple times, I can cut it down and use one product in place of two. Uh, it also smells really, really good. It is, uh, all natural so it has citronella lemongrass peppermint and eucalyptus and then it also has lanolin in it which is one of my favorite ingredients in the pink stuff um i will never not also use this uh depending on the day so like on a day that there's flies i use this on a day that's a little colder i use this so they both stay in my grooming bag even though they are kind of interlinked um and some spots, like on his back, where I don't really need fly spray, I still put this. Um, that's just me though. But I think that is all that I have in my grooming bag. Yep. So, again, 
Now that I can actually lift it up and show you, the Noble Outfitters has a mesh bottom. It has uh, a shoulder strap and like shorter straps. And then you can unbuckle this one to get into your bottles better. So I would highly recommend this as a grooming tote. And that's what's in my grooming bag. Um, thank you guys. Thank you again thank you. to anybody who sends questions or video ideas through my Instagram DMs. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It helps me come up with little ideas to make videos. And if you guys could go ahead and like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I will hopefully see you guys next week. Bye.